Here's how to run background tasks with Django in a package I just created called Django QStash. What this does is it will package up a task into a webhook that's then managed by upstash QStash. This will be the actual service that helps us schedule or delay any sort of function we want to run later through webhooks. Now, normally with background tasks, what you will need to do with Django is spin up something like Celery. Now, Django QStash, this project, doesn't need Celery to run things in the background, but it can do these things hand-to-hand. -hand. That's what I want to show you in just a moment. So first and foremost, what we need to do is open up our project here. We go into Home. We want to simulate a background task here, some sort of background task like sending emails. Not all background tasks should be done through webhooks like what we're doing here, but some of them definitely can be, a lot of them can be. So if you want a fully serverless Django project, you probably need to use webhooks like this. So anyways, here we go, we sent a webhook, we sent a background task here, and we get the results right there. Now, if I jump into upstash qstash, go into my events, I will see that there's my event right there. It just happened. I can take a look at my request here. This is everything that just went through and it shows me this function called notify followers task. So what I can do then is I can actually go into my Django project, into my followers tasks, and here is that function that's actually handling that task, that background worker process itself then it returns back this result. So if I go into the Django admin and I take a look at the Django Celery QStash results, I can see that result right here. It's quite literally the result of the function itself. Now what's also cool about this is what you can see is I have this other task that's being run. Now this other task could be another Django QStash task, but in this case, if we actually take a look at the task itself, it's actually a Celery task. So yes, these things can work hand in hand. Django QStash itself can replace Celery task or shared tasks as well. There's a lot of options here. The point is to be able to have a fully serverless Django project, you need to remove Celery as a dependency if you really don't need it. A lot of projects really don't necessarily need Celery to run alongside of Django. That is the motivation for Django QStash because I have so many side projects that I want to run, but I don't always want to have a worker process running right there, but I still want to have background tasks. That's exactly why I created Django QStash. For a complete step-by-step -step video tutorial, check out DjangoQStash.com. I also have docs, all the code, Everything you'll need to implement Django QStash in your project is there. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you out there.